morning students welcome to today's english class standard 9 today in english literature we are going to continue with the chapter number 4 the portrait of a lady part 3 in the previous two videos you had learned about the author kushwan singh you had learned about the grandmother in the story how he has described his grandmother's physical appearance in this video we will be seeing what are the activities that have taken place in his childhood and what are his remembrances of his relationship with his grandmother shall we proceed yes this is kushwan singh and here are his works the sunset club and train to pakistan these were the books authored by him let's now get to the story Then she would fetch my wooden slate which she had already washed and plastered with yellow chalk a tiny earthen ink pot and a red pen tie them all in a bundle and hand it to me who is she who is she grandmother whose grandmother the author's grandmother who is the author Kushwan Singh very good so Kushwan Singh is remembering his childhood when he went to stay with his grandmother as his parents had left him and proceeded to the city in that village the grandmother used to wake him up give him a bath dress him up and take him to school so what would she do she would bring fetch means bring his wooden slate which he had already washed she would have washed the slate nicely plastered it with yellow chalk uh, and then she would give him a tiny earthen ink pot a pot made out of clay baked clay and a red pen and all this she would tie up in a bundle they had no bags and all in those days in a bundle and hand it to the author After a breakfast of thick stale chapati with a little butter and sugar spread on it we went to school so he remembers his breakfast was stale chapati not made fresh in the morning it was what was prepared in the night the earlier evening and he would eat it with butter and sugar spread on it and then he went to school She carried several stale chapatis with her for the village dogs. Who is the she again? The grandmother. She took a couple of chapatis. Couple means a good number. Couple normally means two. Here she took a lot of chapatis. He says several. That means many. With her for the village dogs to feed those dogs. Plastered means to coat or to cover. earthen ink pot is made of baked clay okay then what happened my grandmother always went to school with me because the school was attached to a temple what was the reason for her going because the school was attached to the temple the priest taught us the alphabet and the morning prayer while the children sat in rows on either side of the veranda singing the alphabet or prayer in a chorus my grandmother sat inside reading scriptures so what was the occupation of the grandmother when she went with him to school he would be sitting out with the other children in the veranda in rows on either side of the veranda veranda is a huge outside area in the school and what would they be singing the priest would teach them the alphabet or a prayer and they would all sing it together in a chorus and what would his grandmother do at times she sat inside the table reading scriptures that is shlokas 
poem, uh, chants, uh, something from the epics. All these things she would sit and read, holy writings. So scriptures are holy writings. When my parents were comfortably settled in the city, they sent for us. That was a turning point in our friendship. So after some days, his parents asked his grandmother and the author to come back and live with them in the city. This was a major change in his life or his friendship with his grandmother. Turning point. Turning point means there was a complete reversal, complete change. Although we shared the same room, sharing the same room means living in the same room, my grandmother no more came to school with me. Why did she go to school? Very good. In that school she went because the temple was attached. I used to go to an English school in a motor bus. There were no dogs in the streets and she took to feeding sparrows in the courtyard of our city house. See the changes. First, she did not accompany him to the school. Second, she did not take the stale chapatis and walk on the road because there were no dogs to be seen. So she sat in the courtyard. Courtyard is again a big opening in the house only, an open area. She sat there and fed the sparrows. She had to feed somebody, so she fed sparrows. An open area enclosed by walls or buildings. As the years rolled by, we saw less of each other. As the years rolled by, rolled means moved past. As they, as we started, as the years started getting, as it's the years started rolling, the author and his grandmother had very little interaction. For some time, she continued to wake me up and get ready for school. When I came back, she would ask me what the teacher had taught me. Your parents ask you, don't they? What did you learn in English today or Hindi? What sum did your teacher teach in maths, etc. I would tell her English words and a little things of Western science and learning. The law of gravity, Archimedes' principle, the world being round, etc. So these were the things I would tell. What would I tell? What I learnt in English, then something about science, the Archimedes principle, the world being round, all this I would tell. This made her unhappy. Why should his telling all this make her unhappy? Why? Because something she could not understand and you will read later on to see why it made her unhappy also. She could not help me with my lessons. Those days had gone when she could sit and teach me. Now she could not help me with my lessons. She did not believe in the things they taught us in school and was distressed that there was no teaching about God and scriptures. Why was she unhappy? Here is your answer. She did not believe in the things they taught us in school. What was taught to them? The earth is round, some Archimedes principle, isn't it? She felt all this was not necessary to lead a life. She was upset. Distressed means upset that no one was teaching them about God or the scriptures, about our holy books, the writings. All this was being not taught and that made her unhappy. She said nothing but her silence meant disapproval. She did not say anything, oh what rubbish they are teaching, is this what is to be taught? Nothing like that. She just kept quiet and what was the meaning of that silence? Disapproval, not agreeing or not accepting what was being taught in the school. She rarely talked to me after that. After that, even her little bit of conversation that we had, she stopped. She didn't talk much to me. So you can see distressed is pained or upset. Disapproval is dissatisfaction or not agreeing, not approving. To summarize, now what did we go through here? 
life with the grandmother in her house. You have seen that earlier. Grandmother's reason to go along with the author to accompany him to school. Life with grandmother in the city. Grandmother's concern about his education. Her new activity in the city. Have you all understood children so far? Well, let's see some questions. Question number one. Why did the grandmother accompany the author to the school? That was the turning point in our friendship. What was the turning point? What made the grandmother unhappy and why? Give the meanings of the following words. Disapproval, distressed, courtyard, comfortably, scriptures. What were the changes in the grandmother's life in the city? The grandmother shifted with him to the city. What changes did you observe in her life in the city? I am sure you all have understood what was taught in this video. Thank you, dear students. Sairam.